With a simple model, we can show that the volume of a cube can be divided into three identical pyramids. There are lots of ways to create a cube, but we'll create one without needing to define any edge lengths. Start in top view, activate rectangle, and click the first rectangle corner. Click again when you've defined a square. The next step is to rotate copy this square 90 degrees. Orbit around, select the square, and activate rotate. Press the control key or option on the Mac to make a copy. To define the rotation axis, click and drag the mouse along an edge. Then click anywhere on the square and rotate up, stopping when you see 90 degrees in the angle field. You could also just type 90 and press enter. Activate the push-pull tool and push the vertical square to the other side. This causes you to lose the face at the bottom of the cube, but you can use the pencil tool to retrace any edge and replace the face. To make the three pyramids, we need four new edges, all starting at the same vertex. First draw these two edges. Before drawing the other two edges, first switch to X-ray view so that we can see inside the cube. Then draw these two edges. This creates new faces inside the cube. Now we can turn off X-ray view. To better visualize the new pyramids, we'll paint them each a different color. To get the color swatches, click the paint bucket icon. Click the color you want to use, then click the faces you want to paint. Before the pyramids can be moved apart from one another, they need to be separated into groups. Start by selecting the three red faces using the shift key to select multiple objects. Right click on one of the selected faces, then choose Make Group. With the group still selected, activate Move and click two points to move the red pyramid above the other faces. We can now see two inside faces that need to be painted to match their neighbors. For the next pyramid, right click on a yellow face and choose Select All with Same Material. This selects all of the yellow faces at once. Make these faces into a group and then use the Move tool to move this pyramid away. Do the same to create the blue pyramid. When you orbit around, you'll see that the yellow pyramid is missing a face. To fix it, first right-click on it and choose Edit Group. Then use the pencil tool to trace over any edge and add the missing face. Paint this new face and right-click outside the group and choose Close Group. The red pyramid is missing two faces. Open this group for editing and add this edge, which replaces both faces. Paint these faces red and close the group. When you keep the Move tool active and move your cursor around a group, you'll see rotation handles appear, which you can use to rotate the entire group. If you rotate the pyramids the correct way,
you can align them like this. to see that the three pyramids are, in fact, identical.